A rainy Monday night in the Sicilian city of Palermo and they're pushing to get into the theatre. The man they've all come to see is the leader of the Five Star Movement. What they all have in common is a desire to take back political control from people who they believe have failed them. It's different. It's not a classical politician uh, organization. So we, it's made by, from people. Every person took a we make a cooperate to do something for himself, for the community, for the other person. And that's exciting for you? Yes. In he came, just 31 years old, Luigi Di Maio spoke for nearly an hour without notes. He didn't mention immigration once, the touchstone issue for a right wing looking to turn working class Italians against refugees. But he mocked endlessly the corruption of mainstream politics which he said made Italy an international joke. We had Berlusconi from one side and Renzi from the other. They stole the future from my generation. I can't understand how they dare to show their faces and promise to change things when they had 20 years in government and didn't do anything. The whole point was about transparency, the message that Italy needs a totally new politics. In all honesty, many of Five Star's policies are still written on the level of bullet points and lack a lot of detail. But nonetheless, for all these people, what this party represents is the basic howl of outrage against a perceived corrupt and useless political class. And that, and that alone looks like being enough to make Five Star the biggest party in Italy in this election. Five Star has been on a journey, no longer the shouty populism of their founder Beppe Grillo, no longer do they want Italy to leave the Euro or the European Union, but they still insist they will never do coalition deals with the other parties they despise. Instead, Five Star now demands a totally green economy, funded by a publicly owned investment bank which organises a universal basic income for the poor. In chaotic cities like Rome, these ideas look incredibly difficult to achieve, but it seems less important than the facts that they say them at all. Five Stars Movement uh, is a sort of catch-all party. They are post-ideological and they try to collect uh, consensus and uh, electors from every part of uh, uh, political market. So this kind of uh, uh, list of um, desires, to some extent, is really wonderful, but there is a a lot of problems in the possibility of a uh, concrete translation in policies. At their final rally in Rome, the crowd numbered several thousands. The Italian public is understandably cynical about politics, and many complain that Five Star won't be any different to the rest of them. Their leaders are urging against apathy, though if they want to govern alone, they will need the backing of hundreds of thousands of undecided voters to give them any chance. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in Italy.